pi. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, so what I'm doing is a Udemy tutorial at the moment, and um, I'm doing a chapter where I'm looking at quick composition sketches and how to create them. Um, I just did one on for the tutorial that's for sale, by the way, <laughs> and um, it was using a different photograph to develop um, a composition that I'm doing for this tutorial. But this is just one I'm going to put on YouTube, and it's just showing you how to do a quick composition sketch using um, pencils rather than pen, and some of the techniques that I use um, to do that. So what I do is just quickly sketch, do some loose sketch work. And again, as I keep saying, this is not meant to be a be a final work. It's meant to be an investigation to help me when I develop the work on the computer, or if I was to develop work as a painting. Yeah. So th these are very quick sketches, just trying to investigate and push around what's going. Oops, pencil broken. What's going around on the going around on the composition? Yeah, and where we're going to place things, where we're not going to place things. Yeah. <clears throat> so it's important when you're making compositions, if they're quick sketch ones or final compositions, think about the solid space and the negative space. So don't just think about the solids, think about the voids. And if you do this, your compositions will, in theory, be better because you're thinking about everything. Yeah? Often people just draw an object, but they don't concentrate on what's around it. Remember when you're making an image, be it figurative or abstract, then um, it's a whole piece, yeah? It's not just a single piece. It's not just a little drawing here or here. It's everything. It's an object or a universe onto itself, the whole piece, yeah? Quickly suggest the cycle. The cycle bits. And then some people might wonder why why on earth do a very quick rough sketch when you've got a photograph to work from? A, you don't you don't usually work, often work with photographs, yeah? Because <clears throat> that can create a very stilted drawing, a very um, tight drawing. But in this case I'm working with photographs because I'm no longer in New York and this is for a to de develop as a digital piece, yeah? And, um, you know, another reason why, another reason to reinforce that view, if you're working from photographs, the photographs are very tight, and then you can loosen up your compositional ideas using this pencil or pen work. So that a, is a good reason when you use photographs, is to have a go at sketching it out. Or another way, you can actually make models in paper, which is another good idea. So not everyone likes to draw. Some people prefer to make 3D models. I like to do both. But I tend to draw a lot because it's accessible, yeah? Like drawing, you always have you can always can get a piece of pen and paper, yeah? No matter you know if you haven't been paid that month or you know you you are traveling and you need light to travel light or you're in a city for a day you just got a pencil and paper it's great it's cutting edge you know <laughs> some pencils are broken here because I tend to press quite hard and also another tip I'd give when drawing is to not, don't think too much sometimes, just just draw, just be loose and draw. I find a lot of people make a mistake when they're learning drawing as they say, think to themselves, oh, you know, I'm drawing a person here, so I'm drawing his face, his shoulders, yeah? You just have to forget the object that you're drawing and just draw, yeah? All things blend into one another. Yeah? All objects are related, even in a piece, even when you're making art. 
so don't be too tight, loosen up, don't be afraid to make a mess. I mean, many people will <laughs> say what I'm doing here is a mess, but I would find, I would take that as a compliment, yeah? Because it's, I'm loosening up ideas, I'm investigating new things, new parts of the composition. If I was just completely accurately drawing the photograph or using projection, I wouldn't, I wouldn't find new things. It's like going on a journey, yeah? And the end of the journey is the end of the, the piece of work. So there's that composition. And what I always do when I'm working to do quick compositions, I do a bigger piece, often on a bigger sheet of paper than this. And then I quickly, after that, draw four little boxes and then alternate areas of the composition, so the composition is slightly different. That way I can contrast, see which composition might be best as an end result, and then I can contrast it with the larger image as well. So what I'm doing in the Udemy project is I'm taking a similar quick sketch and then I'm developing that with a photograph in 3D graphics. And the quick, these quick sketches to start with aim to uh, uh, show me, the user, the creator, sorry, how to push this piece. Yeah. And you can make notes as well. You can write things like, you know, light, a lot of light here. It's a big area of light. Um, neon glow. If you were taking this to Photoshop or making a painting, whatever, you could really work on some cool glow effects here. You could, you know, do lots of things. You can make notes of the different types of material, so perhaps shiny. Yeah. And all these things really help. Whoops. The more you do here on the very rough stage, the more it will help you for your final piece. Yeah. You can think, you know, you can look to, to see if you want to include different elements like shiny materials, or you want it just black and white without black and white lines without materials. And um, then your invest the investigation finishes here, and it was just very quick. And um, if I was to develop this, I'd take these, put them around my screen if I was doing it digitally, or I would um, put them on the edge of my easel or canvas um, if I was making um, a traditional composition. And I just find making these quick sketches gets your brain, it activates your brain and it makes your images, um, what should we say, it makes your Im gives your Im images more room to develop in themselves, you know. It's not just a tight thing, it's not like, I'm going to do this. It's like now we've done a, a big exploration on different, different ways of what the final piece could, could be like. And we can also... We also notice possible areas where it might fail or we might make a mistake in the composition. Okay, well, thanks for listening and any questions and comments, please um, just put any in and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Cheers. Bye.